guys, I'm still working uh, on the environment uh, for my trading strategy. There's some combination between traditional trading strategy with uh, AI stuff. So I would like to present uh, for you something. Uh, this is Peter notebook for debugging test uh, my code. Uh, first of all, I need to import trading strategy, then trading simulator, and then I would like to import rules. Uh, it means uh, I have uh, multiplied different uh, rules like take profit or something, action from agent, uh, trading stop, uh, or some hours limit for trading, and etc. So then I just upload some piece of data. It's uh, five minutes data for Bitcoin. But then uh, I do calculation for define resistance and support line and then I'm going to trade uh, signal when price uh, touches this resistance line and uh, I'd like to show you it's like a big table uh, when the sig uh, signal happens uh, uh, sometimes uh, I have combination between different uh, signal. This is a map uh, when I uh, analyze uh, the sequences uh, of uh, signal. For example, cell signal 1 by signal 1, etc. You see? And when I have uh, uh, too many zeros, it means uh, this uh, signals happens rarely. But sometimes we have uh, enough of signal for each uh, resistance or separate line. Next, I would like to define what is the feature I'm going to use for my trading strategy. It's important uh, for machine learning or reinforced learning stuff. Uh, but right now, I just show you. Um, only like uh, scratch for trading strategy. So I create this object using class trading strategy. Then I define what is the target because it, it is a uh, uh, high frequency trading strategy. So I'm going to take um, a small piece of movement of price. It is uh, half of percent, its stop loss is about one percent. And uh, this is a uh, house start, house limit. Uh, of course, uh, for define some trading ideas, I'm starting to use uh, commission on zero because I'm trying to find some dependency and then I would like to do some optimization and uh, uh, then debugging all this. Uh, Stuff uh, to build some profitable ideas. Yeah, and this object of class, I can add rules to close my trade or open rules. Yeah, and I can uh, create uh, some a different type of rules. I show you, for example, stake profit, stop loss, trading stop, house limit, house start, delta time. Here's some stuff from agent when agent want to close, etc. And this is piece of code uh, we can explode, expand here, uh, and add more features. After that, let's look in what happened there. Yeah. Then I'm using trading simulator, so we take our data set and then we take our strategy what we create with the rules then we identify our class for agent agent would be reinforced learning of course it uh, it could be deep learning ideas because i would like to try different combination then it would be our features and then uh, it would be our stop loss when our strategy would be broken 
if you achieve uh, this limit. And using this loop, we run our simulator and looking for this some information. Let's let's run it. Takes so and you see we have some information about open trades. I display this data on the for debugging. When trade happens, I can analyze this one. Let's wait a little bit. Okay, I just stop. And because I would like to do some overview of my code. Okay, and then uh, I can run this on lines of trades to understand what is the profitable trades, what is the total reward, what is the average profit, and start uh, trade uh, time and uh, trade how many trades and etc. Then let's look in, yeah, it's still profitable, but percentage of profitable trades, it's not big, but uh, if I run it uh, enough of time, it will be about 60 or 68% for this clean strategy. Okay, so let's look in uh, this overview of the code. Um, what is it? So, as this code exists in my folder strategy. So this is action. This action for my trading uh, or reinforced learning uh, agent. Then it, it is some parameters. Uh, then it's rules in engine. When I uh, use uh, this one, I can add uh, multiply rules yeah? because uh, rules for trading is very important. And I just want to add uh, uh, different type of rules like this one here, yeah? some combination, and I would like to add more logic there. There is some trade box. I'm storing information trading box, and this box uh, moving between different classes to fill all this uh, field and do some calculation profit on, on reward. It would be another logic, it's the same, but I fix this one. It's property. When I call pro profit, I just uh, do calculation. It's an on fly. It's very useful for me. And this is trade direction. Buy, sell, sell, hold. This uh, trade manager. This is some stuff uh, to close trade, to calculate rewards, and uh, what is the status. Uh, Reset because we need to reset our environment when when we are going to run multiply time multiple times using reinforced learning or when we do some distribution learning of course we should use some reset of our environment environment so this is a trading simulator so you see this is generator uh, because uh, we are going to process a big piece of data. To optimize our memory, we should use a generator. Of course, we have some uh, feature like state. You see, uh, what is this observation uh, and return a state? And let's look in. Uh, the state would be with our feature. Yeah, uh, I mean, it could be. Uh, uh, data for, for example for the last few hours so with uh, feature with small, with uh, technical indicator uh, some volume etc and then I return like uh, um, numpy array and I, I transfer it for float format and then we do the step it is the same for uh, gym um, Library I mean, and engineering library for reinforced learning, and we return this is object like what is the next state, what is the reward, what is done. Of course, um, I need to do some optimization, um, like action. I mean, also I should return action from from uh, deep learning or reinforced learning. So, what does it means? Of course, I can analyze traits. Uh, 
and this code still developing and in the future i'm going to share uh, this the stuff for for my project reprice patterns and because i would like to expand this project uh, and um, attract some people who are interested in this project to develop some features rules and some indicators uh, yeah i would like to show you some ideas for indicators um, this really exists to many work and to learn develop all the stuff it's very hard okay i'm going to show you some features uh, i mean you see some tools a uh, signal uh, it exists uh, some logic define signal bollinger bands moving average rci uh, scandals Uh, the um, k-means PCA uh, inside bar signals uh, um, from clustering uh, isolation forest uh, algorithm um, of course uh, some volume of encoder signal it's really uh, okay I, I create some base idea of uh, this combination with a traditional feature plus some AI feature and inside in this code uh, I have to plan to develop like package for Python library for my project repress patterns and because I need to organize all this code and uh, then develop it for market and of course uh, for trade online monitoring this stuff I have a plan something would be free and something would be maybe uh, for some subscribe paid something complex stuff but uh, the basic version would be free so I'm still uh, I'm still working on this one if you like this video if you like this idea subscribe on my youtube channel see you next time bye